Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss how to use the Trim by Surfaces command. I currently already have a model imported into Pointwise, which is actually extracted from our intake port tutorial. In this model, we have a set of four surfaces that I've isolated and I have rendered here in a shaded rendering to make the illustration a little easier to see. And these sets of surfaces uh, do not recognize each other in terms of being trimmed with each other or having been cut uh, such that they match each other at their common boundaries. Um, and in fact, they don't have any common boundaries because of that. Uh, and so if I highlight these uh, entities, for instance, for this interior stem, you can see that they pass all the way through the elbow surfaces. And likewise, the elbow surfaces themselves do not recognize the fact that the stem surfaces are there. And so the intent of this command is for us to be able to trim these surfaces with each other so that eventually those surfaces can be combined together into a single model. So let's look at how this command works. I'm going to go up to the Edit menu and pull down to Trim by Surfaces. And this command wants us to select two groups of entities. If I had already selected entities, they would be included in Group A. Let's go ahead and select these two elbow surfaces for Group A. And then I'll switch to Group B and then I'll go ahead and select the two remaining surfaces for the stem which pierces the elbow as group B. And for this first pass we're going to kind of ignore these things down here in the advanced frame. I'm going to go ahead and click on imprint which instructs pointwise to go out, perform intersections, find the component pieces that would remain, and then it renders all of those in shaded rendering so that we can see the separate pieces. And as I rotate the model around here a little bit, you can see that indeed the two top pieces of the stem have different coloring from the bottom pieces, which indicates to me that they have been cut at that junction with the elbow. Additionally, if we look at the elbow surfaces and into the interior of the stem, we can see that the elbow surfaces have different colors from those of the pieces that have been cut inside the stem. So all of that color coding or rendering indicates to me that this cutting operation uh, and trimming operation has uh, worked as I would expect and hope in this case. Now for this first pass what we're going to do is use this apply and select command which essentially allows us to tell pointwise which surfaces from this trimming operation we wish to keep. In this case we don't really want the top of the stem that's outside the elbow, and we don't want these two pieces of the elbow that are inside the stem. The selected or highlighted entities are the ones that will be kept. So essentially we want to deselect the pieces that we do not want. And to do that, I'll hold the control key on the keyboard and use my left mouse to click on the pieces that I do not wish to keep. So when they're highlighted like this piece of the stem, closest to me, I hold the control key and I click the left mouse, the default mouse uh, button for selection to deselect those. And then I'll do the same thing for these two interior pieces. So this gray one is highlighted, control key, left click. Same for the other side, control key, left click. And so essentially I've deselected all of those pieces I do not wish to keep. And at this point, I can just simply click on the OK button. And now my set of four surfaces that I have here is all nicely trimmed uh, with respect to each other. And so the top of the stem has been cut off and the interior of the stem, the elbow surfaces on the interior of the stem have also been removed. And so we have a really nice uh, set of trim surfaces. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn. 
which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.